Hey guys, this is iCobot. I got a few questions about the video software I used and how I put it onto multiple screens, like how it is right here. Um, there's some pretty cool stuff you can do. I have Final Cut Pro with me right here. Um, it's the new Final Cut Pro X that I've been using. Um, it works best for me. I don't, I'm don't. i not really a fan of iMovie, but I mean, if you like that, and if you can find that you can do this in iMovie, I mean, go for it. I just don't like it, but I, know, I used to have um, Sony Vegas 8 on my PC, and I could do the same exact thing. I think a bunch of videos back, I've done it. They were done with Sony Vegas 8, so let's get started. Um, if you're on Sony Vegas 8, you're going to want to look for the crop button. It's going to look something like this. And if you're in the crop button, I'm going to go ahead and do it. If, say, get on the crop button if you're in Sony Vegas 8, and if you're in Final Cut Pro, get on the transform button located right here. Your video should be the full size of the screen, like this. Right, let's get this one and step in and show you. Your video should be the full size of the screen. Okay. Okay, so when you start layering videos on top of each other, like I do right here, just start moving your videos down here, and you won't see anything different. You'll see the top one, the one on top, will be the one on your screen. But you don't know that behind that video are all your other videos that you were layering underneath it. So if you click the crop in Sony Vegas or transform on a Mac, it gives you parameters around the outside of the video. You go to it, click it, and drag it however small you want it, you want it to be. And I usually put it like about that and put it in each corner. Grab the next one shrink that one put it in a corner and yeah that's pretty much what you do the only thing you have to be careful about is when you have multiple videos like I do is when you have to cut a video off you have to be able to um, edit it in because um, yeah, you just have to kind of watch your whole video and see what's going to happen with your different screens before you actually publish it. Because I've had it before where um, three of my screens are going and all of a sudden the, something just pops up huge in the background. You can't see any of it. You just have to kind of watch it, watch the whole thing and edit it. Um, but yeah, if you have any more questions, um, just comment, like, subscribe if you can. That'll help me out a lot. Um, and thanks. Bye.